basic uh, sloper of bodies. The front part, the back part, and the sleeve. Okay? Kailangan muna natin ng mga So first, kailangan natin ng yardstick. Pero kung hindi naman available yung yardstick, so kailangan natin ng ruler. Next, kailangan natin ng red spark. So kaya naman, L square. No? Okay. Kung walang L square, pwede naman uh, yardstick or kaya naman. And, uh, Uh, pencil. Pencil, no? Ako gagamitin ko lang as uh, ano to para may tumalino sa video, no? Kailangan din natin ng isang buong Manila paper. No? Bakit isang buong Manila paper? Kasi yung Manila paper, uh, medyo malapad siya. Or kaya naman, meron naman tayong nabibili ng mga uh, pattern paper, no? So, una, ganito ang gagawin. So, ito yung buong Manila paper, diba? Bago tayo mag-start, kailangan din natin ng tinatawag na mga measurement needed. So, ito yung measurement for the back, ay, for front part. And then, ito yung measurement from the back, for the back part. And measurement for the sleeve. Okay. So, uh, example ko sa inyo kung paano natin nakuha yung measurement. So, yung shoulder width, So, yung actual body measurement ng shoulder width is 15. No? So, yung measurement needed, nangangaila, uh, nag, ano yan, nananatili lang yan. No? So, ito, nag-iiba to. Depende sa sukat ng katawan ninyo. No? So, yung shoulder width, 15 siya. Ngayon, ang measurement needed is 1 half. Paano nakuha yung 7 and 1 half? Ibig sabihin, 1 half, kalahati daw ng 15. Kapag hinati mo yung 15, magiging 7 and 1 half. So, kaya naman, para hindi kayong mahirapan, so, ang gagawin ninyo, pwede kayong gumamit ng tape measure. For example, yung shoulder width ko is 15. So, dahil ang measurement needed is 1 half, so, meaning, kalahati daw ng 15. So, mula dito, hahanapin mo yung 15 inches. So, ito yung 15 inches. Ngayon, hahatiin mo yung 15 inches. Pag nahati mo yan, so, ito yung magiging measurement. So, 7 and 1 half inches. Ne? Pag sinabi namang 1 fourth, bawa, hiningi dito sa bus circumference 1 fourth. So, 35 yung bus circumference dito. Ibig sabihin, Hahatiin mo ng apat na beses ang 35. So, ang gagawin, pwede ka rin gumamit ng medida. So, mula dito, meron tayong 35 inches. So, itutupin mo lang na ganyan yung medida. Itong metal part, yan mo dito sa 35 inches. So, meaning, ito yung kalahati ng 35 inches. Kalahati pa lang yan, 1 half. No? So, ang kalahati ng 1 half is magiging 1 fourth. Hatiin mo muli dito sa 17 and 1 half. At, ito yung nakuha. 8 and 3 fourth. Ayan. Kaya, naging 8 and 3 fourth siya. Kung makikita nyo, dito siya. Nag 4. 8 and 3 fourth. No? Ang isa pang teknik para makuha or kahit hindi kayo gumamit ng tinatawag nating medida, so, pwede natin itong i-divide. For example, yung 15. So, yung 15, meaning, 15 times 1 equals 15 divided by 2. Kaya, naging 7 and 1 half. Malinaw. So, kaya, 15 divided by 2, magiging 7 and 1 half o Kung gagamit kayo ng calculator, 15 divided by 2, magiging 7.5. No? Pag sinabing 0.5, nabawa gumamit kayo ng calculator, no? 0.5 ang naging nakuha doon sa, sa calculator ninyo 
o kaya naman 0.25 o kaya naman 75 so ang 5 ay magiging 0, uh, 0.5 ay magiging 1 half yung 0.25 magiging 1 fourth at yung 0.75 is magiging 3 fourth ganun yun na kapag gumamit kayo ng calculator kapag ang nakuha is may 0 0.5 0 0.25 or 0.75 sa huli no for example ito 35 divided by 4 kapag inano nyo sa calculator yan ang makukuha nyo is 8.75 and then yung 26 yung 26 pag dinivide mo sa 1 4 dyan ang makukuha nyo is ay pag dinivide mo sa 4 yan ang makukuha mo is 6.5 meaning 6 and 1 half ito pa no yung 7 pag, naku, uh, pag dinivide mo sa 2 yan ang makukuha is 3.5 pag gumamit ka ng calculator okay so number 1 so we have to draw the construction line o yung tinatawag nating perpendicular line so when we say perpendicular line these are the lines that made up of 90 degrees angle o yung pwede tayong gumamit ng L square so pwede tayong gumamit ng L square kung wala naman tayong L square pwede naman tayong gumamit ng ruler or kaya naman pwede naman tayong gumamit ng yardstick nasa sa inyo ha? pero ako ang ginagamit ko is yardstick So, from A to B, measure 3 inches downward. So, meaning, pag may measure ka ng 3 inches, mula din sa metal part hanggang dito sa number 3. So, inches lang ang gagamitin natin. Hindi siya centimeter. Okay? So, from this starting point A, yung metal part na to, so, pag may measure tayo ng 3 inches, and mark this as point B. Okay? Next, from A to C is 6 inches downward from the construction line. Okay. Mula dito sa corner o yung construction line, magmamesure ka ng 6 inches pababa. And then, this is point C. So, next procedure natin is A to D. So, from A to D is your one half of your armhole circumference. For example, ito. So, yung armhole circumference ko is 16. So, ito yung gagamitin natin, yung mga computer. So, meaning, mula dito sa A, magme-measure ako ng 8 inches downward. And then, mark this as point D. Next procedure, from A to E, is your bus height. For example, yung bus height dito is 8 inches. So, ito siya, 8, no? Dahil 8 inches din siya dito, pwede din natin markahan to as E, no? So, ibig sabihin medyo mataas siguro yung bus height. Or kaya naman, iba naman kasi pwede yung bababa siya. Kaso yung nandito kasi sa sample is 8 inches yung bus, bus height. Kaya, bali itong mark na to o itong points na to is either D o kaya naman E. Okay? Next procedure, uh, from A to F is your front figure length. So, yung front figure length natin is 16. Ayan. So, mula dito sa A, magme-measure ako ng 16 inches downward. And then, this is our point F. Square out point B, C, D, C, and F. Okay. So, square out natin yung point Make sure 
sama perpen di Indonesia. So kahit na gaano pa siya kahaba, pwede siyang pwede siyang lalampas doon or basta nagkaya nag-square out lang kayo. Square out point B C So, next procedure is from A to D. From A to D, measure 2 and 1 half inches. And mark this as point D. Next procedure is you have to shape the front neckline by means of using the French curve. No? So, shape natin yung front neckline from point E to point B using the French code. Okay. okay. From A to H is your one half of your shoulder width or your shoulder measurement natin. So, yung shoulder measurement natin is 7 and 1 half. Okay. From point A, measure 7 and 1 half inches. So, yeah, 7 and 1 half for our shoulder width. And this is our point A. Next procedure, from H to I, measure 1 and 1 half mula dito or downward from the swing line. So, nalanggagang dito. Or pwede rin namang 1 inches. And mark this as point I. Step point D and I. With straight line. Next procedure natin. From C to J is your 1 half of your chest width. So, yung chest width natin dito, ito siya. So, ibig sabihin, from C to J, magme-measure tayo ng 6 and 1 half. Kung wala namang chest width, pwede naman natin gamitin yung shoulder width, no, which is 8 to 8, ma-minus lang yung 3 fourth inch. For example, yung shoulder width ko dito is 7 and 1 half. So, minus na lang natin ng 3 fourth inch, magiging 6 and 3 fourth siya. And yun, no? So, Dahil may measurement needed na tayo, so ito na lang ang gagamitin natin. No? Kung wala naman chest width, yun ang pwede natin gawin. No? Minus 3 fourth lang doon sa shoulder width. No? Okay. So, yung chest width natin is 6 and 1 half. So, from C, measure 6 and 1 half. And mark this as point J. So, next procedure, from D to K is your one-fourth of your bus circumference. Example, ito. So, yung bus circumference, yung bus circumference natin is 35 siya. So, meaning, ito yung gagamitin natin. No? So, 8 and 3 fourth. So, mula dito sa D, measure ako ng 8 and 3 fourth. Huh? So, pwede rin ka rin ito. Huh? 8 and 3 fourth. Siya. Huh? 8 and 3 fourth. So, kaya naman. Pwede tayong gumamit ng 8 measure. Siya. 8 and 3 fourth. And then, mark this as point Okay, next procedure. So, from I, J, and K, you have to shape the front uh, arm board no? by connecting I, J, and K and by using the French curve. So, ganito siya. So, 
Pokoknya aku muna yung J at K. Wala na siya. Ganyan siya. Pokoknya aku muna yung J and K. our procedure by connecting I, J, and K with the use of French card. Next procedure. From F to L is your one fourth of your waist circumference. So, yung waist circumference natin dito is 6 and 1 half. So, doon sa 6 and 1 half, magdadagdag tayo ng 1 inch para sa dart. So, magiging 7 and one half. And then, magdadagdag pa tayo ng one half para sa allowance. No? So, meaning, dahil nadagdagan ito ng six and one half plus one, magiging seven and one half plus one half, magiging eight siya, no? No? Wala dito, Mag-measure ako ng 8 inches. And then, this is our point L. Then, connect K and L with 3, 9. Okay. okay, next procedure. From E to M, is your one half of your bus distance. For example, your bus distance to this is 7. So, ang kalahati ng 7 is 3 and 1 half. No? So, from E, dahil pointy din to, measure 3 and 1 half. Yan siya, no? And then, this is point M. After nyo, Ma mark yung point M square down point M from M down to the line F and L so square down to yung M pababa or papunta sa line ng F at saka L and then mark this as point From N to O, measure one half inch towards point F. Siya one half lang, one half inch. Lang siya kalahati. Next, and that is point O. And then N to P is one half inch again towards point F. So kalahati lang din. So, ito yung magiging P. Kaya pag pinagsama mo yung O at saka P, ang distance niya is magiging 1 inch. Huh? So, point O at saka point P. From N to O, 1 half inch towards L. N to P, 1 half inch towards L. Connect point M and point O with a B, M to P And that is our front part 